Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past probably about a week or so and we just have to start off with this weird clip that I ended up taking here on Rancho del Arroyo. I was basically at this lake looking for whitetail as I got host of this completely fresh rancho server and you know I just had to go and look and see if there was maybe an initial spawn great one or anything crazy and this ended up happening and it's just one of the weird things that happens in multiplayer sometimes where animals can lag out and different things like that but that was just so weird and so funny because I sort of caught a glimpse of it and I wasn't sure what I was looking at and then when I got my eyes on it fully through the binoculars I just honestly I thought that was so funny. But moving on to the trophy highlights now and we're going to start off with a few clips here from Mississippi Acres where once again I have still been hunting raccoons and once again unfortunately I have not found that albino but I ended up finding in one day not one not two but three blonde piebald raccoons which you guys are gonna see while I sort of talk here. So this was the first one, a female, and then I ended up finding another female and then a small male. It's really funny to me how many piebalds and melanistics I have found for the raccoons but still haven't even seen any albinos, not even a female albino. And that's the one thing I'm really looking for is hopefully an albino male. But I just seem to find loads of these guys. But I like to include these clips because I know sometimes I get really lucky quite often. And I'll say, oh, I'd really like to go and find this. And then I'll spend a couple of days going and looking for it. For example, like the rare links. And I was grinding them on my own map. And then I went into multiplayer because I got bored of grinding on my own map. And the few hours I spent in multiplayer, I got really lucky and found both both rares I was looking for. So I like to include clips like this, even though these aren't the trophies I'm looking for, and I know you guys have seen a lot of them in previous trophy highlights videos, just so you guys can see, I don't always get what I'm actually looking for, because I've had a few people say, oh, you always seem to get what you're looking for. It doesn't always go that way. And similarly, that's been the same thing with the wild boar. Now, once again, I have been over on Quattro Kalinas quite a lot looking for an albino wild boar. Once again, what I ended up finding was another black gold wild boar. This is probably like my seventh one of these now. I just seem to find these all the time and I cannot find an albino. But I've got two melanistics whilst looking for an albino, which is just crazy. It's basically the same as the raccoons. I have very weirdly specific luck in this game. It'll either be, oh, I'll find what I'm looking for straight away, or I won't find it for the longest time, or I'll find something that's just not what I was looking for, but is somehow rarer, or it will be a really low level. It's just, my luck is very strange. And this was also quite a lucky encounter I had here on Silver Ridge Peaks, looking for rare pronghorn, uh, albino and leucistic pronghorn. And as I was running there, I had this level 3 turkey come and land right beside me. Actually, a decent size one, a 4.7 there as well, above that normal sort of 4.6 that we see for most diamond turkeys. So that was quite cool. And as I said, I was looking for rare pronghorn. Again, didn't end up finding the specific animals I'm looking for. I really would like to find an albino, uh, either male or female. I've never actually had one. And I would like to find a leucistic male. So yeah, I'm kind of looking for both of those, but I've ended up finding a few piebolds. And these are still cool to see now that they are actually a rare. And I saw this guy as he was running off and I knew he was a little bit different being that little bit of a paler coat. And these guys are beautiful. I'd like to get a bigger one. All of my piebald pronghorn have been quite small. If I could get a decent size level four, I'd be really happy. But I really would like to find those other rares that I was just talking about. But like I said, it doesn't always work out. Sometimes I end up finding other things just like that. Now, moving on to this next clip, and we are here on Leighton Lakes. And I ended up finding this beauty. That is a piebald moose cow. 
Now, I know it's not the most impressive, only being a female, but I do absolutely love finding rare moose. They are just so impressive to look at, and I th think the moose have some of the most beautiful rares in the game, honestly. The piebald pattern is really stunning, with the different shades of brown mixed in with the white coloration. The melanistics are awesome, and that's really what I'm here looking for, was a melanistic bull. I do have the melanistic cow in the lodge, but I really would like to find a bull just for my uh, sort of collection of rare moose. And of course, the albinos are always magnificent. But the piebalds really, really are very beautiful. One of the nicest looking piebalds in the game, in my opinion. I do like a lot of the sort of the older piebalds, like the roe deer and the musk deer and the moose. Some of the first animals in the game, I think, have some of the most beautiful piebald patterns. And you can really see the, the different tones of and shades of brown in that coloration. I think uh, just an absolutely gorgeous animal. And being so big, you know, a moose, it really sticks out. And I just think they always look cool. So the bigger rares just always do seem to look really, really cool in my opinion. And yeah, I was really happy to actually find that. I didn't find much else, but that was a really, really nice find. Now heading over to Rancho del Arroyo where I have once again been in search of rare bobcats and if I could ever find one an albino male pheasant and I ended up finding a trophy bobcat. This is a nine legendary red fur type bobcat. Now you guys may remember when Rancho came out one of my most desired trophies was either a red or a blue diamond bobcat back when blues used to be uncommon and I ended up finding a red legendary and it ended up being max weight and max score. So I have a real love for these guys. I think they are absolutely stunning. I mean just look at the coloration and the patterning. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. And also just a fantastic model. I think the bobcats look absolutely fantastic. And this guy does end up being a diamond at 27.8. So not quite as big as my other one, but still a diamond red bobcat. And I wasn't looking for diamond bobcats. I was really looking for an albino or a melanistic. And I come down to this area now to look for them in their feed zones and their rest zones and pick out tracks. And honestly, when I saw that it was a red one, I thought, oh, that'd be really cool if it's a legendary because I haven't seen one since that one I shot not long after Rancho released. And sure enough, it was a legendary. And yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful cat. Now, moving on to another clip. And this one is just really funny to me. You guys will see there, we have a quite large level three white tail running past us. Now, I can tell you guys that this was, I think, the same night that I shot my great one. After I posted the video and everything, I thought, oh, okay, let's go to multiplayer and just have a chill and see if I can find anything cool. Because, you know, I'd been grinding quite hard for the past sort of five, five days on my own map, you know, after the great one. And once I'd got the great one, I just thought, okay, let's just go to multiplayer and see if I can find anything. And one of the first things I come across is a big level three whitetail. And I just thought it was so sort of ironic that I was here to not really look for whitetail and I ended up finding a trophy whitetail. And I had to take this guy out. He looked really, really impressive. Sometimes I'll leave smaller level three whitetail, but I just couldn't resist taking this guy out. What a beautiful looking buck. And he's only a 262.70, but that is a really impressive looking rack. I really, really, really liked how this guy looked. So I did actually end up putting him in my saved harvests. And his antlers aren't like perfectly symmetrical either. So he's got a little bit of character. And like I said, I just thought it was so, so funny to come to multiplayer. And I was really looking for rare quail, rare grey fox, uh, rare raccoons. And end up finding a really big level 3 whitetail. Now, sort of in the same vein, I was on Leighton Lakes looking for, as I said, sort of melanistic bull moose, melanistic uh, Roosevelt elk bulls, and I ended up accidentally spooking this huge level 2 whitetail. Now, I took a shot there, and unfortunately, sort of with how the terrain was, he sort of dipped right as I shot, and that shot wasn't good. But I knew a flesh hit from the 308 would kill this guy. So I sort of chanced it and took a shot as he was trotting there and thankfully managed to drop him. He had quite an insane estimate for a level 2 with a minimum of 254. So I knew this guy should actually be a diamond level 2. And I can't resist it when they're just running straight at me like that. 
and thankfully that second shot did actually catch the liver so I just managed to clutch that and I know it's not the most impressive shooting I've done but I was pleased I managed to just clutch it and I think that shot would have been pretty good for going for heart but it was just how the terrain sort of dipped there right as I took that shot. And, you know, it was my own fault. And it just very barely clipped his belly. And then on that second shot, you can see it just clips that liver. So a lucky diamond. Only a small one at 257. Sometimes I'll leave diamonds like that for the host. But I couldn't resist it when it was just running at me like that. So that was a really cool find. Now on to this clip from Mississippi Acres which actually took place earlier this evening where I actually came across a max weight black bear track and without sort of specifically tracking it a couple of minutes later spotted a legendary bear and sure enough it was the same one that I would picked up the tracks from. And this guy gave me such a run around. He did not want to leave the cover of the trees and trying to get a shot at this guy was so difficult. And as he stood up there, I managed to sort of put my bullet in between all of those branches and finally drop this guy. The first shot I took at him when he stood up like that, uh, sort of about 10, 20 minutes earlier, somehow hit a tree hit box, even though he was not like near a tree. It was a like... I don't know he was not very close to a tree it was like he was stood in between trees somehow it caught a hitbox and it never hit him and it would have been straight on for a vital hit so that was kind of frustrating but I was so glad to finally get this guy on the ground 23.30 scoring dusky diamond black bear with a heart shot what a beautiful bear I think the bears are so much more fun to hunt now they look so much better because this guy is really stunning and you can see the tracking distance there 4.3 4.03 kilometers he really did give me a run around just trying to get a shot shot opportunity with all of that brush and all of those trees getting in the way and like i said when he stood up that first time he was sort of in between a couple of trees but you know his vitals and his whole body was completely clear of the tree but somehow it still got the tree hitbox. So when I when I went for that secondary shot there, well, even though it said you know it's the first shot that hit him, but my second shot at this guy, I was kind of just praying it would you know actually hit the bear and not get another tree. So I was really relieved to get that guy down. I don't like long tracks in multiplayer; it's always really stressful. Now heading once again back to Silver Ridge Peaks. And we have a absolutely monstrous level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk. 5'11 minimum estimate. This guy is a big boy. And my personal best was 5'15. And I thought this guy could easily be maybe a new personal best or as good as. So got closer to him there, made him go alert. Got a beautiful shot at his vitals and as you can see he's going down nice and quick. Beautiful, beautiful brown fur type bull with just incredible looking antlers. These guys are really magnificent. And picking him up to see what he scores, he scores 512.70. That is a big bull. Anything over 500 for the Rocky Mountain Elk is really, really big. And you don't see it very often. I think this is only my second or third 500 plus bull. And they just look incredible. Now that shot was probably a little bit higher than I would have liked and a bit too close to that spine. I always, you know, I should aim lower quite often. But, you know, still got through to the lung and was more than enough to bring him down. But let's just take a look at this guy's rack because honestly, he is stunning. What a beautiful looking bull. And I absolutely love how his antlers look with how his tines bend. Like, you've got the two brow tines that sort of bend almost outwards. And then you've got the, just how his tines are configured just looks really cool to me. I hope you guys can see what I mean. Just a stunning, stunning bull. And I sort of took some time there to just appreciate how cool his antlers actually are. Because, you know, it, it's one thing seeing pictures of elk this big. But you don't see them very often in game. And when you've got an elk this big and this beautiful, it's always worth taking a moment to just appreciate them. And I was super, super happy that I actually managed to get this guy. I was out here looking for pronghorn um, similar to I w how I was earlier in the video, I was on my way to a lake where pronghorn should be drinking and I found this guy feeding just in between lakes and 
you know, I wasn't looking for Rocky Mountain Elk, but one one heck of a trophy to just find like that. So yeah, a really, really cool harvest that I was very happy with. Now, moving on to the final animal of this video, and we have a really, really big level 5 moose. Guaranteed diamond with a 285 to 339 estimate. Now, this isn't the biggest rack style for a diamond moose, but he is quite obviously going to be a diamond, and I do already have a diamond moose with this rack, and it honestly is one of my favourite diamond moose racks. I think it just looks really cool with how the uh, you sort of have like one big paddle on each side. I think it looks really, really cool. And as you can see, the 300 doing its job perfectly there and putting him down fairly quickly. What a absolute beast. And he just sort of walked past me and I was looking at all of the animals in the area and I just saw this huge set of antlers and knew immediately what I was looking at. So let's pick him up, see what he scores. He is a 286.60. So again, on the lower end of that score estimate, kind of similar to the elk, but still a real beast of a bull. That's two really, really epic bulls, a Rocky Mountain elk bull and a moose bull that I managed to get some really cool diamonds of. And I always love finding diamonds with big antlers. As I've said many times on the channel, if you know me, you'll know that I am absolutely fascinated by antlers in real life. So finding animals with huge antlers like this in game is one of my absolute favourite things. And just such a beautiful looking moose. What a harvest and I was really, really happy with that. So that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Some really cool harvests over the sort of past week or so and just some really cool moments. Still looking for a few of those specific trophies like the albino raccoon, um, the albino pronghorn. I really want to find an albino raccoon if I can before the new map as I would like to do a trophy lodge tour before the new map and then start a new trophy lodge as we sort of come into actually having the new map released. So hopefully that will work out and even if I don't get one hopefully I can do a trophy lodge tour for you guys as I know it's something that a lot of you guys have actually been requesting and the the only reason I haven't done it is because I'm very picky about making sure that it looks really good and uh, I want to make it look as good as possible before I actually show it off to you guys and it's just that's how I am I'm always very self-critical over things like that. But I will get it done and I will get a tour out for you guys hopefully fairly soon. But that is going to be it for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so so much for all your support as always. It really does mean the absolute world to me. Thank you just for everything and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.